Hi there, boys and girls. Tonight we're going to read the story, The Yucky Reptile Alphabet Book. It's written by Jerry Pelota, illustrated by Ralph Masiello. A. A is for armadillo lizard. When attacked or frightened, the armadillo lizard pretends it is a pine cone. It sticks its tail in its mouth and rolls itself into a ball. The armadillo lizard. B is for boa. This is an emerald tree boa. Boas swallow their meals whole because they cannot chew. The largest boas are called anacondas and can be almost as long as a school bus. B. Boa. C is for chameleon. Chameleons can change color and make their skin match their surroundings. What is most amazing, though, is the chameleon's incredibly long tongue. Wow, that is a really long tongue. The chameleon's tongue can be almost twice as long as its body. Its tongue is great for catching insects. D is for diamondback terrapin. Terrapins are turtles. And the diamondback terrapin has markings on its back that remind some people of diamonds. E. E is for egg. These are crocodile eggs. Birds are not the only creatures that hatch from eggs. Most, but not all, reptiles are born this way. F is for frilled lizard. This Australian lizard pops up its collar and hisses when it wants to scare someone. It can also run very fast on its hind legs. G. G is for Gila monster. The Gila monster lives in the desert. It often has a fat tail. The Gila monster stores its food, stores food, excuse me, in its tail for times when it cannot find enough to eat or drink. It's also poisonous. H is for horned toad. This reptile is not a toad. Since it is round and has such a short tail, people forget that it is a, horn it is a horned lizard. When horned lizards get mad, they squirt blood out of their eyes. It's kind of hard to see because he matches the dirt. Horned lizard. I is for iguana. These spooky looking reptiles are sometimes movie stars. When movie makers take pictures of iguanas up close, the iguanas look like gigantic dinosaurs. J is for joint snake. Joint snakes are also called glass snakes. They're able to break off sections of their tail. Joint snakes are not really snakes. They are legless lizards. K is for knob-tailed gecko. This reptile never blinks because it cannot move its eyelids. It licks its eyes to keep them clean. Maybe a knob-tailed gecko could use a pair of windshield wipers. The word knob begins with a silent K. Let's find a reptile whose name starts with a hard K sound. K is also for Komodo dragon. The Komodo dragon is the biggest lizard in the world. It is larger and longer than most people. L is for leatherback turtle. This turtle is the largest of all turtles. It is also the most widely traveled of all the reptiles. The leatherback turtle can be found all over the world in both warm waters and cold waters. M is for Moloch. Some people call this a mountain devil. Some people call it a thorny devil. It would be hard to keep as a pet because it eats hundreds and hundreds of ants every day. Moloch. N is for night snake. Night snakes are nocturnal. This means they do not usually come out during the day. They are ready to come out as soon as the sun goes down. You see the night snake in the tree? O is for ornate box turtle. 
Box turtles have a hinged bottom shell, which they can completely close to protect their bodies. The ornate box turtle is prettier than other box turtles. P is for pipe snake. The pipe snake has a neat way to fool other animals. It hides its head under its coiled body and lifts up his tail. The end of the tail looks like its head. Pipe snake. Q is for queen snake. The queen snake is a water snake that may have gotten its name because it is a picky eater and likes fancy food. It prefers to eat only soft-shelled crayfish. Queen snake. Crayfish are crawdads, like little small lobsters. R is for rattlesnake. These snakes make rattle noises by shaking the ends of their tails. Not many people would play with a rattlesnake because they have poisonous fangs in their mouth. S is for skink. Everyone has heard of a skunk, but how many people have heard of a skink? On this page is a blue-tongued skink. It did not get it. It did not get its blue tongue from licking blue lollipops. It was born this way. T. T is for twa twa tora. Twa toras were alive when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. They are different than all the other reptiles, although they look like lizards. Twa tora. U. U is for Arutu. This snake has letter U at the beginning of its name, a letter U in the middle of its name, and the letter U at the end of its name. The design on its skin even looks like letter U. V. V is for vine snake. The vine snake is long and thin. It looks like a skinny piece of green rope with a head attached. How can it remember where the end of its tail is at? See how skinny he is? Like a vine? W. W is for whiptail. In some places, almost all the whiptails are female. When picked up, whiptails wiggle their heads from side to side. X is for Xanthusia riversiana. What? What was that? What kind of name is that? This scientific name is much too difficult for young children. People usually just call it an island night lizard. Xanthusia riversiana. Huh. Y is for yellow-headed gecko. Some geckos have suction cups on their feet that allow them to climb steep, smooth walls. This yellow-headed gecko is cute, but maybe it would rather be a red-headed or orange-headed or purple-headed gecko. Z. Z is for zillions, zillions, and zillions of years ago that where giant reptiles lived on the earth. The giant reptiles were dinosaurs, but that's another story for another day. We already read the dinosaur alphabet book, didn't we? It was just a few days ago. The end. I hope you enjoyed the yucky reptile alphabet book. This week we talked about letter R. Reptile. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.